Let's get started. Number 10, the overhydration trap. You've been told to drink eight glasses of water a day, maybe even more if you want glowing skin or detoxed kidneys. But here's a strange truth. Too much water might be silently speeding up your aging. Overhydration dilutes sodium levels in the blood, a condition known as hyponatremia. Mild cases make you feel sluggish and puffy. Severe ones cause brain swelling and even coma. But here's where it gets sneakier. Chronic overhydration stresses your kidneys, forcing them to work overtime, filtering all that excess fluid. Over the years, that can wear them down, leading to subtle inflammation. And inflammation is the biochemical definition of aging. Even worse, overhydration flushes away electrolytes. Your cells need to stay strong. Magnesium, for example, is vital for DNA repair. Without it, your cells replicate with tiny errors that stack up like bad photocopies. It's like aging and fast forward all in the name of health. Your ideal intake, it's not eight glasses. It's just enough so your urine is pale yellow, not clear. Crystal clear means your body is screaming, stop drowning me. So maybe that influencer's one gallon a day challenge isn't a glow up. It's a slow hydrated march toward wrinkles. Number nine, the workout that ages your face. Exercise keeps you young, or so you think. But too much high intensity cardio can actually age your face faster than your body. When you push your heart rate to the max cortisol spikes, that's your stress hormone. In short bursts, it helps burn fat. But if you're grinding through daily hit sessions without recovery, cortisol lingers like smoke in the room. It breaks down collagen and elastin the proteins that keep your skin tight and youthful. Runners who overtrain often have that hollow sagging look known among dermatologists as runner's face. Even more disturbing your mitochondria, the batteries of your cells, don't get stronger from constant overexertion. They get exhausted. Overtraining accelerates oxidative stress, leading to the same kind of cellular wear and tear seen in people 10 years older. Here's the paradox movement is anti-aging, but only if you rest. The balance between effort and recovery is what keeps your DNA from fraying at the ends, literally. Studies show that telomeres, the protective caps of your chromosomes, shrink faster in people who overexercise than in those who do moderate regular activity. So, yes, work out, but stop chasing sweat like youth depends on it, because ironically, it might be making you look older while you're trying to feel younger. Number eight, the smoothie that spoils you. You start your morning with a healthy smoothie, kale, spinach, banana, maybe a scoop of protein. But here's something sinister that innocent blend may be silently corroding your insides. Green vegetables like spinach and kale are packed with oxalates, compounds that in excess bind to calcium in your body and form crystals. These can damage kidneys, joints, and even blood vessels. Over time, microinflammation from those crystals accelerates cellular aging. And let's not forget sugar. Even if it's from fruit, the fructose in smoothies hits your liver like a freight train when consumed in liquid form. You skip chewing, so the sugar absorbs faster, spiking insulin and encouraging a process called glycation, where sugar molecules stick to proteins forming ages, advanced glycation. End products, they literally cause wrinkles from the inside out. So, your morning glow up drink, it might be more like a sugar facial you can't wash off. The fix eats your greens whole and your fruit in pieces. And I'm chewing slows. Sugar absorption activates enzymes and saves your collagen from caramelizing like toast under a blowtorch. Number seven, the vitamin overload illusion. You pop your multivitamin every morning confident you're doing the right thing. But what if I told you that your insurance pill could be quietly working against your body's aging defenses? When you take vitamins in excess, especially synthetic ones, your body doesn't use what it doesn't need. Instead, it treats the extra like toxic waste. For instance, too much vitamin A can cause liver damage. Too much vitamin E has been linked to increased risk of stroke. And mega doses of antioxidants like vitamin C or beta carotene may cancel out your body's natural stress responses that keep your cells resilient. Here's the twisted part. Your body needs a certain level of oxidative stress to trigger repair. It's called hormesis. A little damage makes you stronger. But when you drown your system in synthetic antioxidants, your cells get lazy. They stop repairing DNA, stop cleaning out damaged mitochondria, and stop adapting. And remember, antioxidant supplements often come with hidden fillers or binders that mess with absorption or digestion. In contrast, antioxidants from food, like the polyphenols in berries or resveratrol in grapes, work in balance with your body's chemistry, not against it. So those bright orange bottles lining your bathroom shelf might not be your youth elixir. They might be your slow aging accelerators, disguised as health. Number six, the sleep obsession. Paradox. We all know sleep is essential, but what happens when you try too hard to sleep perfectly every night? Welcome to the world of orthosomnia, the insomnia caused by obsessing over sleep quality. People who track their sleep with smartwatches often report worse sleep quality than those who don't. Why? Because they turn rest into a performance metric. Every night becomes a test they can fail. Their heart rate rises, their brain stays alert, and cortisol, the same hormone that ages your skin and shortens telomeres, floods their system. You start chasing perfect sleep like a mirage. You take melatonin wear, blackout masks, and stop all screens at 8 p.m. Yet somehow, you still wake up tired, 
That's because the stress of trying to sleep optimally creates the very condition you're trying to avoid. Even worse, excess melatonin use can suppress your body's natural production over time. It's like firing your internal clock and outsourcing it to a pill. Here's the truth your body doesn't want perfect sleep data. It wants calm. Dim the lights, stop tracking, and accept that sometimes you'll sleep badly. Ironically, that acceptance triggers the relaxation that brings genuine youthful rest, the kind that regenerates your cells instead of aging them overnight. Number five, the clean eating curse. Clean eating, the modern religion of purity. No processed foods, no sugar, no gluten, no fun. Sounds healthy, right? Maybe too healthy. When you strip your diet of all impurities, you also remove the micro challenges your body uses to adapt. Just like lifting weights makes muscles stronger through strain, your immune system needs small exposures to bacteria, toxins, and antigens to stay sharp. Constantly eating sterilized, ultra-pure food dulls its edge. This is why kids who grow up on farms or play in dirt tend to have stronger immune systems. Their bodies learn to handle the world instead of fearing it. Adults who chase dietary perfection often end up with food sensitivities, gut imbalances, and stress-induced inflammation. Even psychologically clean eating can turn toxic. The obsession has a name, orthorexia nervosa, it's when your self-worth depends on how pure your food is. The anxiety it creates raises cortisol levels and slows metabolism, both major aging accelerators. So, if your idea of dinner looks like steamed broccoli boiled chicken and shame for wanting dessert, you're not feeding your body, you're punishing it. Sometimes balance is healthier than purity. Number four, the sunscreen paradox. We've all been taught that sunscreen is the ultimate anti-aging weapon. Dermatologists chant it like gospel. Apply every two hours even indoors. But here's where the plot twists. Overusing sunscreen may actually accelerate certain kinds of aging. Before you throw away your SPF bottle, let's be clear, protecting your skin from UV damage is vital. UV rays break down collagen and trigger free radicals, that's basic science. But our bodies also depend on sunlight to produce vitamin D, a hormone-like compound that supports everything from mood regulation to immune strength and cellular repair. When you block sunlight 24 seven, your vitamin D levels plummet. And low vitamin D isn't just bad for bones. It's linked to depression, fatigue, slower healing, and even premature cell death. Some researchers now argue that chronic vitamin D deficiency mimics accelerated biological aging. Then there's the chemical angle. Many commercial sunscreens contain oxybenzone and octanoxate ingredients that can disrupt hormones. When absorbed through your skin, they may interfere with thyroid function and testosterone levels, both of which decline naturally with age. So, What's the balance, moderate mindful sun exposure, 10 to 20 minutes a day depending on your skin tone, followed by mineral-based sunscreen when you'll be out longer? Think of it as letting your body sip sunlight rather than guzzle it. Too little, and your cells start aging in the dark. Number three, the constant detox. Lie. You've seen the ads, cleanse your body, flush out toxins, reset your system. The irony. The more you try to detox, the more damage you may be doing. Juice cleanses activated charcoal fasting resets. They all sound like shortcuts to health, but your liver and kidneys are already professional detox machines. When you starve yourself or overload on cleansing drinks, you're not helping them. You're robbing them of the nutrients they need to do their job. Fasting too often triggers your body's starvation mode. It slows metabolism, breaks down muscle, and weakens collagen, leaving your skin saggy and tired looking. Charcoal, meanwhile, doesn't just bind to toxins, it binds to nutrients too. Flushing out vitamins your body worked hard to absorb and detox teas. Many contain diuretics and laxatives that cause dehydration, electrolyte loss, and gut imbalance. That hollow flat stomach you see afterward, it's just your organs screaming for rehydration. The body detoxifies through sweat urine and breath processes that work best when you're nourished, not starving. So instead of drinking green sludge and praying for purity, just eat whole food, drink water, and move your body. Your liver's been handling toxins since birth. It doesn't need an Instagram cleanse. It needs a break from your detoxes. Number two, the stress of positivity. Here's a dark truth about good vibes, only. Forced positivity, that relentless smiling through pain mentality, doesn't just exhaust you mentally, it actually ages you biologically. When you suppress negative emotions like anger, fear, or grief, your nervous system doesn't relax. It stays in low-grade fight or flight mode. That keeps cortisol elevated and chronic cortisol literally shrinks parts of your brain, like the hippocampus, the area tied to memory and emotional regulation. A study from Stanford even found that emotional suppression increases inflammatory markers in the blood. That means your immune system acts like you're constantly under attack, which wears out your cells faster. It's called inflammaging the biological signature of premature aging. Real emotional balance isn't pretending everything's fine. It's letting feelings pass through like weather, instead of bottling them up like nuclear waste. Crying, venting, or journaling actually help your body reset its stress chemistry, restoring the youthful balance of your parasympathetic system, the one that heals and repairs. So next time you tell yourself to just stay positive, remember, 
Your body doesn't age from sadness. It ages from suppression. Number one, the hyperproductivity disease. You wake up, chug your coffee, check your to-do list, and feel guilty for not being ahead of it already. Welcome to the cult of productivity, the healthy habit that might be quietly stealing years off your life. Modern society glorifies busyness like it's a virtue. You track your steps, your hours, your habits, every moment turned into a metric. But here's what that constant self-optimization really does. It traps your body in a state of perpetual low-grade stress. Your adrenal glands never rest. Your nervous system never cools down. It's called allostatic load, the cumulative wear and tear from chronic stress. Even if you feel fine, your body is burning through resources to keep up. Your immune system weakens your blood vessels stiffen, and your telomeres, those protective DNA caps, start to fray. Over time, that turns into fatigue, inflammation, and early cellular aging. But it's not just biological. There's a psychological decay, too. When you tie your self-worth to productivity, your brain stops rewarding rest. The dopamine hits you get from checking off tasks start replacing natural pleasure responses from calm connection or creativity. You become addicted to motion, but allergic to meaning. And here's the kicker. The most successful long-lived people on Earth, from Okinawa to Sardinia, aren't hustlers. They're pacers. They live with rhythm, not rush. They nap. They cook. They walk instead of run. Their longevity isn't built on optimization. It's built on balance. So maybe the ultimate anti-aging secret isn't another biohack or supplement. Maybe it's the radical act of doing less. That's it for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.